Hello guys, and welcome back to the Minecraft server. Today, we're going to do a little something special. We're going to make it a uh, Minecraft theology episode, but we're going to do a little bit of Let's Play type stuff in it as well. We're going to set up to get ready to do a Let's Play. We have our trusty shovel in here. We have a couple of diamond picks we got to drop off at the store, and we're going to be needing a lot of sand. Now, I could use my sand here, or... I can go and just get some more sand. I don't want to burn through my reserves too fast. So I figure let's go and make some or get some sand. So we're going to go out to the desert. If you'll remember, we actually have a little desert out there already with our mob farm where we just get redstone and gunpowder. We're going to be needing the gunpowder. And if you think about it, what do we need sand and gunpowder for? TNT. We, in fact, are going to be using a lot of TNT today. I want to create a new game. So we are actually going to be going up north here in just a little bit, but we need to get the supplies to set up to do this project. Ooh, got a nice little exchange store. This is new. Um, one of the guys is wanting to have a bunch of different ways of paying for stuff. And so, Whenever we come in, we can trade in lapis for diamonds. Let's see. One diamond for eight lapis blocks? I like that idea. Let's go do that real quick. So we are going to be getting a bunch of TNT and we're going to be making a game. Now, if you guys have ever seen those uh, games where people try to... They call it parkouring, but just trying to get down a jump. That's what we're going to be creating, but we need to have an end spot where people will either win or die when they fall down. So we're going to create that, but we need to create the little tunnel first to create the game for the next Let's Play. So we will do that first. Let's go grab some lapis. This is my spare lapis. What was it? Eight blocks for one diamond. So we could get eight diamonds. And then we can get another six diamonds. Let's do that. All right, guys. So we will go ahead and grab, grab us some diamonds. I'll bring that back here. And then I will meet you guys over in the desert where we're going to grab a bunch of sand. We're going to, while we're over there, grab a bunch of gunpowder from the mob farm. And then we will start this project. So give me one sec. All right, guys, so we are out here in the, I guess, the desert with the mob farm. I don't know what this is. I guess people have been clearing sand. So here's my thing. And this is Jeremy getting up on his little soapbox. I don't like it when we destroy the land. So I might actually just fix this a little bit because I'm not sure who decided to kind of just come out here and clear some sand out. So I'm going to fix that. Um, I probably won't add it. I'll probably just clear it out to make it look a little more natural, but I don't want to come out here and just ravage the land just so that it looks awful. So I'm going to actually make this look good. Before we do that, we're going to go up there and see if there's any gunpowder. Sometimes whenever you go out of the chunks, this thing doesn't load, so it is possible that this is not working, but we will test it out and see. Plus, we gotta get my shovel to go get sand. Let's see. Okay, it's not miserable. How's this? Nothing here, nothing there. Okay. Sometimes this does turn off. Let's see if the water switches. Yeah, you can see that there's water on both sides, so it's broken right now, but I'll go fix that later. For now, let's grab some gunpowder. That should be mm, enough. So I'm gonna just stick in here, just enough to fill that, put the rest back. All right, so now let's go grab some sand. Is this a death trap? Why is this here? Looks like someone was here and a creeper blew up. That's no good. I'm gonna have to do some construction and fix all that. All right, so let's jump down real quick. By real quick, I mean it takes a little bit to get down. And we're gonna go fix that sand area over there, and then we're going to go and make us a deep pit over in the game area. Now, the idea of doing this, 
I was trying to think, I really wanted to do this game, but I did not want to spend the time digging out a hole. I was actually thinking about at some point doing a let's play where all I did was mine and dig. It's really boring. And then I got the idea of digging out an entire place with a TNT cannon that shoots straight down and a special rig to kind of get that all set up. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to create a TNT cannon and have a lot of fun with it. So we need to get all this out of here. As we're doing this, let's have a little chat. So there's been a lot of conversation online with Church Mag um, about women and, and women in technology. And I think I even touched on it a little bit with a previous Minecraft Theology episode. And I'm not sure where we're at right now because I feel like a lot of the conversation at this point has been women who have said, yes, you are so right, and then nothing from men. And by nothing, I mean not a single person's chimed in. And I don't know why that is. So I don't want to put men on blast, I myself being a man, um, because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just a disconnect as far as the content. I don't know if it's actually something there that I need to be concerned about, but I think it's interesting that there are a lot of women that have said this is absolutely happening and it's super frustrating. It's not one, it's not a certain kind of woman, whatever that means, um, but just women in general have said, yes, I have struggled with this. And I think that people, there's been a couple of men who have said, I'm, I appreciate you bringing this to light. Um, but no comments on having seen this or um, even the opposite pushback. And I think it's appropriate to realize that you can have a pushback in this process of saying, um, I think that you're completely wrong. Now, at that point, the question is, is, is that comment justified? And I don't know about that process, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Man, that looks way too straight. Maybe if I fill out all of this, clear it all out, maybe that'll help. Maybe. So I haven't heard from any men in this entire process, which is a little bit concerning. Um, I really wish that we would hear from our male counterparts. Um, I've already given my voice a little bit to this process and seeing in saying that in the different ministries I've seen, um, as far as consultation, I have seen that quite a bit. Um, I personally haven't had that issue. In fact, I typically would have more women on my tech team than men. So I haven't had that issue personally. Um, but I also was very cognizant of that process and very much in relationship with the people that I was working with. And so I didn't care who was on my team. And I was so much more about creating community that I wanted as many people on my team as possible, even if I didn't technically have a job for them. I'd sit, I would try to introduce them and try to see if they'd be willing to join up. And a lot of times what would happen in that process is I would find super passionate people that were just looking for a, a team to join in. And, and a lot of times that was women and teenage girls and um, just trying to create a great ministry in general, not necessarily. And, and so I guess in some ways I wasn't trying to be pro or anti women in that process. See how this looks now. Gosh, it just looks so created. Maybe if we put a little indenture in this, put another little indent. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of a shape to it. I wonder how that looks. Um, kind of hodgepodge. How about we create an island out here? A little small mound. There we go. So I want to know what you guys think and I really want this to be a call to action of what's been your experience and part of it is maybe just to start to bring light to the conversation and then also just as for the women that have said had negative experiences in this process um, maybe to also support them at the same time. I think that would be an amazing thing if we could pull that off as well. But I wanted to know what you guys think. Um, I haven't heard anything in this process. And it goes towards 
a lot of other conversations as well, including uh, me wanting to further the conversation in pornography and what that looks like. Um, because I think that church tech has a responsibility and it sounds like from different studies of significant shortcoming too, um, that they, that Christian men in general are struggling with pornography Christians period, but Christian men, it seems like are really struggling with pornography. Um, I heard a recent statistic in, um, one of the secular, I think it was a secular websites that was talking about conferences, um, Christian conferences that would host in different cities. And then whenever the hotels would host them, they found that with Christian conferences, more than any other conferences, the pornography access would skyrocket compared to anything else that they would ever experience, which is insane to me. How in the world could that be? And and so maybe this is just shedding light on this process and, and asking the tough questions, but where are we at with this? I mean, is this something that is being addressed in your church? Is it being addressed? The pornography question in general, is it being addressed with your senior leadership um, or is it being scooted under the rug? And even more so um, as church tech, are we offering solutions? Are we in ourselves um, struggling with this and should be held accountable? Uh, where are we at with this whole process? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. This seems manufactured. Oh no, that's a spawned house right there. When you add these uh, fences, it just all of a sudden seems very created as opposed to spawned. So that looks much better. It looks like it's just naturally there. There's not that terrible hole. I got my sand, so I'm glad about that. It is officially time to go make some TNT and to create our rig. So give me one sec. Let me go over to our area where I'm going to create the tunnel. We're going to, I'm going to do the rig on camera and then we're going to shoot some TNT. So give me one sec guys. All right, guys. So we are out here in the gaming area. This is going to be our first corner. We're actually going to go out that way and then that way. You can see that that's one of the um, spawn houses that we have. You can see another one out there for a new player that we've got on the on the server. The boat race is right there. This is a new one that we've got. Uh, it's the ladder climbing one where you can use uh, bow and arrows and shoot people off and whoever gets the top wins. So we've got a bunch of different games out here and i think that's a house as well right there um, over there is a trail to a whole nother continent so that's kind of the proportion of where we are at and i'm going to put together i'm calling it i don't know if it has a name i'm just going to call it i guess a tnt quarry cannon maybe because what's going to happen is that you saw with that one it's just going to point down and that's going to be the whole point of this um in fact one two three four do that one two, three, four. I've got 16 of these, so that means I can do a four by four. I'm not sure if I want to go that far. One, two, three, four. But I'm going to at least lay it out in case I do. So that would be three. Man, that's going to be really wide if I go that far. Do I want to do that? Why not? Let's just do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So let me finish constructing this because this is going to be kind of boring. I'm literally just going to put this all down. And then after that, I'm going to do a whole bunch of redstone. And it's going to go over top of these. And then I'm going to have a button right here. So let's create a little button. And with this button here, I'm literally just going to press it. And it's going to shoot off TNT straight down. And it's going to blow stuff up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let me get this finished and then I will catch you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, we have a ceremonial christening of this project with some rain, but let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So I've got uh, every single dispenser filled up with 28 TNT. I had to go back, get more sand, get more gunpowder. I had to also add some repeaters here just because the circuit is too long. But yes, I think this is going to work. I have not tested it. I did clear, if you look down here, whoops, 
I did clear the area of trees. I just didn't want the leaves here to disrupt the TNT. I guess we got a couple of extras here. We can get out. But I didn't want this to disrupt the TNT because then it would be completely awkward. And since I was already only using 28 TNT per dispenser, I think that that's, this is going to work. Sorry, I was like, wait, is that lined up or not? Okay. So everything is outside of the um, drop center of the dispensers. These are probably going to still get hit. That's okay. So let's go ahead and light this off. And I don't know what kind of noise this is going to make, so we might not be able to talk during some of this. I may just have to show you the aftermath of it. That's okay. We have a bunch of items in here that I just have been randomly collecting. I had to go back for more gunpowder and uh, sand, and then I had to get some more redstone, and then I forgot my comparator, so I've been back and forth too many times. But anyways, it is officially time, guys. Let's go ahead and press this button. <laughs> Everything is dropped. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, it did get that tree. It did miss a little bit. Okay. It did over there as well. Let's just do it again. Excellent. So I'm going to do this 28 times. So let's go ahead and just talk while we are blowing stuff up. Because that's really what we need. So we are talking about the idea of pornography as well as women in tech. Um, a lot of this comes on the heels of um, some geeky stuff with the new Ghostbusters film that came out. Um, if you haven't been following it, the new Ghostbusters film is out, and with that, there's been a lot of issues on social media with Twitter um, of a lot of hate speech towards women. And so we have to realize, guys, that this is happening whether the church wants to address it or not. I mean, this is days ago from the time I record this. And so this is actively happening in this process. And we want to talk, the church wants to talk about everything. I mean, how many different times have you seen a Pokemon Go article out there about how churches could use this to do amazing stuff? Why are we not talking about this issue as well? I think that this is an absolutely vital thing that we should be talking about. I think that this is something that we need to be controlling in the conversation. We need to be having our own words be shared and in part of that process, I think, is our own experiences, because I think that that plays into it. So if we don't have experiences, why in the world do we not have experiences about this? Because women are being unjustly targeted and unjustly impacted in this process. There's water down there. Oops. And I fell. Awesome. Um, so I think I'm going to have to clear this out. But I wonder what you guys think about this. Is is this something that we just are avoiding? Because I'm kind of concerned that that's the case, is that we are actually just avoiding these concerns and not addressing them. And if that's the case, that's wrong on our part. Um, I certainly can't speak for everybody in this context because I have only had my own limited view. But I see it so clearly from my vantage point and so I have to say something. I can't hold back. I have to say something. And when I bring this conversation up and this many women are saying, thank you so much for addressing this. This is something that I've been struggling with for a really long time. I don't know how I could not continue to advocate for my brothers and sisters. And so I guess I just wonder where, where is, am I just completely the only person that's experienced any of this or are we unintentionally intentionally blocking this out um because we do that right i mean think about everything that's happening on the internet right now with all the different shootings whether you're in america or not we do not have the media to filter out a lot of the different things that are happening online and when people post these different shootings we are just getting the full force of this process and not to say that the media was doing anything bad before, though it's possible you could advocate for that as well. But we are getting the full impact of this. And I wonder if sometimes we have been just neglectfully missing all of this stuff that's been happening in the world. 
So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about this. I'm gonna fill this the rest of this in. Um, I might do, I might record some of this stuff, but I'll just do it as a quick time lapse on blowing things up, which is just a great sentence to say. And then I will catch you on the other side of this hole being built. All right, I am officially done with at least this round. I'm gonna say that I'm not done, so there's more to do, but that's all the farther 28, 28 TNT in each hop or each dispenser has given us. If I fall, I die, so I'm not gonna fall. Um, don't ask me how I know that. So let's go ahead and go down here. There was a whole bunch of water that sprayed around again. So I had to deal with that. Oh, geez, for real? Oh, man. All right, you're just helping my cause. So this is where we're at. This is actually really fun, but heavy resource process, and you know how I hate just wasting all that cobblestone down there. Fortunately, if I go down there, I'm probably not coming back up. So we're going to, I'm gonna go get more, t make TNT, get some more sand, Get all that gunpowder out there so I'll have to do that off camera and then I'm gonna to have to clean things up so next time you see that it's not gonna be perfect because I do want to design the outside of it but that design is probably gonna be pretty easy to do um, okay we're good but I will say that I am going to have this cleaned up a lot more so the design won't be completed yet and we still have to actually create the game itself um, and just to kind of give you an idea, I'm parkouring now, but that's obviously easy stuff. We're going to have single blocks all the way down. They're going to be ice blocks, so that's gonna, it's going to be that compressed ice you saw up there. That's just going to be a piece of it. i got to get a ton more. Um, so we'll have all of that as well. And it, basically, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an elevator that goes up the side, just like the elevator you saw at my mob farm. And... You're basically going to drop all the way down. There's going to be beds up here if you die. And the first person that get, can get down to the bottom retrieves, I don't know, a diamond or something like that. And then you have um, the elevator just to get back up once you've made it. Obviously, you're going to do this with no items because you will die. Um, if anybody makes it in their first go, I'll be impressed. I've never actually built a game like this before. So this will be interesting. Got random blocks there. Um, so this will be interesting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to just end this episode. Um, so it'll be interesting creating this thing. We'll see how it goes. Um, cleaning up this will be a lot of work. So don't expect this to be like just immaculate next time you see this. Because there's a lot of stuff right there. And I'm going to probably almost kill myself. I probably should just do the elevator first. So that if and when I do fall to my death like that spider just tried to do to me, that I will be able to get back up, recover my items and get back up. So I've got all that to do off camera. I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna finish this up, then deconstruct this thing, and I will have that next time. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on that conversation about women in technology and as well as the pornography issue because I think that those two things are deeply linked. Um, not that we have any concerns of Christians endorsing the pornography process, um, though I say that and I could probably instantly recant that because I've heard of stories of that. But I think that it's important just to realize that we have a we have a role to play in this. And so women are objectified all the time sexually and emotionally and just the whole cultural aspect of things I do not believe is right. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Where do you stand in this process? What experiences have you had? And how are you going to make a change? I think that it's time to voice this process. Um, I don't want to sit on the sidelines and say, okay, I brought it up once. Good for me. I did enough because I don't think that that's true. I think this is going to take a long time and I don't want this just to be me saying a lot of things have a lot of women say, yeah, you're so right. This is absolutely true. And then nothing comes of it. I will be furious if that's how things play out for myself and for just the whole situation as a whole. Um, so leave you guys a voice or 
comments down below. That's for a whole nother bit. Um, but leave your guys' comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, and if you haven't experienced this, then you guys have a unique prospect because you can come into it just simply knowing how to engage women appropriately and maybe even start to educate yourself a little bit better in this process. Huh. There is no way to get down here. I wonder what happens. Hmm. It's not working. Anyways, thanks guys so much for talking with me. What is this? Someone is waiting for me to die so that my bed... Oh, now that's just mean. I'm going to have to figure out who did that. Little sneaky pranksters. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm afraid I'm going to find more stuff to talk about, so I'm just going to end it here. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.